Hello, laundry is dominating my life today. I spent ages putting loads and loads away last night, but this lot was drying on the rack at the time. Now it's dry, now it's time to put that away as well. So tomorrow is our big travel day. We'll be going on a ferry. I get very excited with ferries. We'll be revealed where we end up going. I've got a pile there. I'm not packing as such yet because I haven't done my packing list. However, things I know I'm definitely taking, I'm kind of piling precariously on the suitcase. At some point, I think it's gonna get top heavy and overbalanced or something but it's all right at the moment. So far today I've been setting up two vlogs to publish because I'm trying to work ahead because you need to do that when you're a vlogger and you're going away somewhere. Those are Izzy's socks. I've hoovered almost the whole house and I've been having a bit of a hoo-ha with Izzy's prescription for her injections. Don't ask. Admin. Communication between departments. She was due it yesterday and she just hasn't got any in the house and um, yeah it's not great really but there we are. Been on the phone to various Departments, GP, hospital, the delivery company. <sighs> this is coming. This dress. Right, that lot's away now. And I have to say, I can't pack until I've done my schedule because once I've done my schedule, I'm going to see how many concerts, workshops, sessions. I can't know what I've got to pack until I know what the dress code's going to be for each thing. Yes. And when we arrive back, we're arriving back into the UK and we have a gig that night as well. So there's a, I think, a, I've got to check what that is. If it's a wedding, I'll need to dress differently for if it wasn't a wedding, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm going to make a cup of tea. I'm going to sit down at my desk and I'm going to sort my schedule out. Once and for all, I've been meaning to do it for days. I mean, it's sorted out. I just need to find out what it is and get it in my head. Yeah. I had printed this off before, I was just thinking, printed that off before, I've been rummaging around with folders and found it in my uh, my pending file behind the telly there, not telly, monitor screen, you know what I mean? The thing is, we've had so many communications since, I'm questioning whether they've actually changed, so it's a matter of me going through a number of all the emails that I can find that I've had over the last few weeks and just checking if anything's been updated since. Yeah. Anyway, I think I'm inching closer to uh, getting it done. Guy to the rescue, he sent me a lovely uh, one single side of A4 of our schedule because I've been, oh, I had a 37 page document to go through yesterday, I thought I'm not printing that out. <laughs> and I started going through it trying to highlight our bits and cross reference with the old one. But anyway, it's all fine, it's printing now. Um, we communicate a lot during the week, during the day, my Cody band, we're always emailing each other on a big thread, you know, and uh, with everybody included. Yeah, it's quite nice actually. Anyway, I'm gonna get on. It's quarter to two and I'm flipping starving. Things are not going according to plan. I was, you know, diarising everything nicely and then an admin, an urgent admin reshuffle came up. Yeah, and I think I've sorted it. I think, just waiting for some final confirmation. Anyway, look what I'm having for my lunch. I just couldn't stop thinking about it since I got it from B&M yesterday. So, going for one of them. Right, good. Comfort food. I would say, if you don't like chilli, this is not the brand for you. Well, not this particular thing, anyway. Not your average cooking with Imo today, is it? But never mind. Mm, nom, nom, nom. Well, that was not very balanced, but it was very delicious. I'm going out now. I'm going to go and reorder my prescriptions so I can go and collect it when I get back from my trip away. And I need to try and sort this prescription out as well. So I'm going to go and see if I can chat to people in person about that while I'm there. Wish me luck. Well, I've managed to order my prescription. That's one thing. And I've wandered into a clothes shop and I'm actually looking at dresses. They're quite nice, actually. I don't know. I think that might be a bit low cut, but I'm tempted to just try it, actually. I quite like the look of this one as well. I'm actually going to... Mm, I don't know about the sh I think these shoulders are going to fall down on me, but actually I'm going to try it anyway. I'm in the fitting room. They're nice soft t-shirting material. They are, well, not quite, but they're soft and stretchy, you know, this. not going to be uh, constricting and constraining. I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to keep this upright or not. I don't know what to do about that, because if I'm on stage playing my flute and my shoulder thingies are falling down, I don't know. I don't know, but it looks lovely. I think it looks absolutely stunning. Excuse the bulges, it's because I've got my trousers on and belts and things. Well, there's a split there. I really like it, and it's reduced in the sale as well. Should I take a risk on it? Might be able to put, I don't know, a discreet little pin in there or something to keep it up. It might be all right. It might just be worrying needlessly. 
I wanted to come in here anyway. I spied them in the window. I thought they looked lovely. I was feeling a bit stressed out about the uh, uh, medication situation for Izzy, to be honest. So I wanted a little bit of a break and a change of scene because sometimes that can just make things easier to cope with again afterwards, can't it? Right, I'm going to get it. I think it's going to be okay. It's, it's not as revealing as I feared it might have been. Yeah, excuse the bulges. That's my belt. <laughs> Um, phone in my pocket. Yeah, and they're both in the sale, so yeah, I'm glad I popped in. This one's 11 99 and the other one is 14 99 I'm not getting any further with this packing, am I? Other than now having two lovely dresses to pack. I'm very pleased with those. I, yeah, I didn't have too much joy with Izzy's medical situation but I need to go and write an email now to somebody so that's the next job on my list this is these are all things that are just like popping up today that I wasn't expecting so a bit frustrating I can see my flute practice going out the window today it's nearly 10 past five and I'm finally starting my packing I can't believe it's taken me this long but I've had too many hold-ups today I basically do my packing list in notion and then Whenever I come to make a new packing list, I just do a duplicate of the old one and then update it with whatever I need differently for this trip. And it really saves so much time. And then export it as a PDF and then print it out. Here we are. Well, there's the front page of it. It's three pages in length. I will save the destination reveal for another vlog. So hopefully now this should just be like clockwork and I should hopefully just get this all in really quickly. And I get to use my packing cubes. I love packing cubes. Oh my goodness. Just, you know, I've got categories for everything, you know, I was saying in yesterday, days I love compartmentalizing things so I'll have my underwear in one dresses in another tights trousers in another you know that kind of thing and then just take them out put them in the drawers still in the packing cubes and I've got my system and I'll just know where to find everything really quickly while I'm there this is always my underwear one I use the opaque one just because you know underwear not that you know I mean you've all seen it anyway it's not like I've got any privacy left in my no, I've probably got a bit, um, but not a lot. Uh, but yeah, it's just the thing. I was thinking about making labels for them, actually, but I haven't quite got that far yet. That's a kind of cold winter's night activity whilst playing some videos or something and something to do with my hands, isn't it? But anyway, not yet, I haven't. Does anybody else always have an urge to pack double the amount of pants and socks they need? It's not that I'm expecting to have any, you know, toiletry accidents or anything. It's just, I think... Well, I might get all sweaty and hot and want to go to bed in a clean pair, you know, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, but anyway, I'm, yeah, I'm the same with socks, I think, you know, if I come home, have a shower and then go out again in the evening, I'm going to want a clean pair of socks. I'm not going to want to put the stinky ones on that I've been wearing all day. And another thing, like, I quite like to wear dresses for performances these days. But I also like to have a freshly clean on dress and having had a shower or a bath, preferably. Now, some of these days we're going to be performing in the early afternoon and then late in the evening as well. So I'm thinking I'm going to need two dresses for that day because they can get a bit arm pity, shall we say. If I'm all day in a dress and I'm putting my rucksack on with all my gear and it like presses the fabric into the armpits I'm definitely gonna they're gonna be two dress days basically yeah so I'm having to pack double dresses as well so it's just as well I managed to buy some today all right this probably is too many socks especially as I'm gonna be wearing tights as well but I just I'm not quite sure in my mind when I'm going to be changing so yeah too many. This is my nighttime zippy bag because I've got my pyjamas in there, my sleeper bra and also my eye mask and earplugs will go in there. Here are my dresses going in that I bought today. That was such a stroke of luck, honestly. Such a stroke of luck. I've been looking to find in my schedule just a day to go dress shopping and now I didn't have to because there they were on the way home. I just spotted them in the window. Lovely. Right, that's another one. Now I've given up on these dresses for that Kaylee band because this Kaylee band always sits down on chairs and these body hugging or figure hugging dresses, oh my gosh, not suitable for playing the flute in a chair. I can assure you because like when you're a flute player, you can't just play like you prim properly legs together and knees together and all straight back and all that. You've got to kind of you gotta hang on. You kind of gotta have them apart a bit and the torso twisted over a bit because it's just it's too uncomfortable otherwise. And so what I have found checks lighting surreptitiously <laughs> is that the dress rises up basically up and up and up and up and up and I spend the whole gig like this pulling them down all uncomfortable and awkward so they're not coming. I'm saving those for the pub band gigs because I stand up with the pub band. Oh, I'm overcome with hunger. <laughs> It's getting quite late. It's like, what, 5.48 or 38. I'm watching a vlog, Eight Miles From Home, one of my all-time favourite vlogging channels. Love them. Eight Miles From Home. And um, having a sneaky snack, I'm having some of Guy and Sarah's lemon cake. 
little bit of that and some of these crisps and I will do dinner maybe in a couple of hours. These were on offer in B&M, a pound for a six pack and they're very nice, they're ham flavoured and I like them. Five past six now, there's not a lot of room left in that case is there? That's all my miking up gear so that's essential. This whole thing here is just taken up by this extra thick, lovely warm layer. Oh and another one as well but yeah there's reason for the black. <laughs> it's to do with a fancy dress outfit we're wearing during the week. Music stand, I need that. What's that? It's my underwear. All the rest of my clothes pretty much. T-shirts and vests in that one. Sleeper one in that one. There's not a lot of room and I haven't put any food items in yet. I'm not bringing lots of food but I want tea bags and herbs and spices and coffee and things. My toiletry bag isn't going in till last thing really because I want to add some extra bits to it that I need in the morning. So, But they, yeah, I can probably fit that there. I need a laundry bag. I usually use a charity shop bag for that because we've always got a, a load of them. Most of everything else now is for packing in the morning. I'm not going at the crack of dawn. I think it's like somewhere between 11 and 12 that I'm leaving. I'll need to check. But I've got time in the morning. But I didn't want to do too much in the morning. And I want to try and get the vlog up by the end of today before I go to bed as well. Scheduled in advance so I don't have to be rushing that in the morning. So I can just have a relaxed start to the day and just really enjoy the travel day without a big panic in the morning. This is what I'm aiming for anyway. I'm going to take my big camera bag obviously. Well not obviously I normally take a little camera bag. I normally just have this bag with cameras in but I can't fit everything in there but I can fit everything in there but I'm going to take that as well. I'll arrange it somehow so that I'm not carrying loads and loads of items like maybe that could go inside that and yeah I'll work it out. That's my hand luggage that's going to have my flute and all that in it and just stuff that I need for the travel day, I need to access. I'm onto food stuffs now, so I've got my decaffeinated tea bags and a couple of sachets of decaf coffee that I found in the cupboard. In this one, I've put, I just couldn't be bothered with real coffee and bringing a coffee pot because look, I haven't got space for it. So I've just put some decaffeinated instant in a Tupperware. And I found some Horlicks sachets in there, so I thought, right, well, I'll put them in. They might be nice before bed one night. Carton of soy milk just to just so we can have a cup of tea when we come in, you know, because we're going to get in really late. There won't be any shops open, I don't suppose. And a dishcloth, because I will go to any lengths to not have to touch sponges, you see. So if there's only a sponge, I can use my dishcloth to wash up. I'm just wondering what a police officer might make of my bag of um, mixed herbs. There's chilli flakes in there as well. And some oxo cubes. No idea if I'm cooking at all, to be honest. I might not do any. We might all be just eating out on the go. I don't know. But anyway... There's that. Mug shots are in. I need to stop now and do some editing because Izzy says she's not hungry yet and she's in the zone. Izzy is painting at the table downstairs and she says once she stops she won't get back in the zone again. So could she carry on with that for a while? So I said yes. Don't look at it, it's not finished yet but I just she, I just <laughs> saw her taking the masking tape off this side and I said it's very satisfying. Can I film it? <laughs> voilà. Oh, lovely. We'll have a look when it's completely finished then. <laughs> Izzy's copied this image. She wants to say she, well, I asked her. Um, this is the iPad image that she's copied it from. So she hasn't made it up out of her imagination. She's literally just been, you, have you been like pulling it out and looking no, closely at it? or anything? Just from there. Wow, that's... It's from... Look at the screen. They look like <laughs> the same thing. It's from Studio, um, some people say Ghibli, some people say Ghibli. It's a My Neighbor Totoro. Oh, I don't understand really any like, of that, but <laughs> it's, it's a movie. Those who know know. That's yeah, I really cool. liked the I really liked the um the movie and the art style a lot, so I wanted to try and learn how to do it. Oh, that's amazing. I better get dinner on then. Will that be finished after when dinner's maybe? Yeah, in? I just need to outline. Okay, we'll come back things. and look at the outlines. There are some very delicious smells in my kitchen and I've only been cooking for a few minutes, it seems. So I've got broccoli in there, not come to boil yet. And I've got both the air fryers going again. In here I have hash browns, well cheesy hash browns for me and fish fingers for us both. And in the active fry, which stirs by the way, I don't know what an active fry is. Um, oven chips for Izzy because there weren't enough for both of us. So she's having oven chips and I'm having hash browns. Are you ready for the big reveal? <laughs> there we are. Voila. It's, um, like I said, my neighbour Totoro scene because I really like the art style. I used a really bad eyeliner that I got. Is this it? No, that's white eyeliner, which is was also not for me. It's, so it's here. Uh -huh. It was not for me. Um, and I tried outlining it with pen, but it wouldn't, because obviously like the canvas is bumpy, it wouldn't get on all the bumps, so mm -hmm. you couldn't see all of it. So I need something thicker, and I don't trust myself with a brush to do detailed line art, because, you know, it's not that precise. Um, so I needed something stiff. So that's what I used. Oh, lovely. It's looking amazing. And my broccoli's done. In fact, everything's done. And this is our very basic tea. These are the very super cheap fish fingers. I'm trying to do this with my left hand. Can I have a little taste of it and tell you how it is? 
Oh, it's all right there. Perfectly tasty, to be honest with you. Mmm. Yeah, I wouldn't say no to that. Tomorrow's vlog might not be up for tomorrow for you. I don't know. I will try to keep getting them out. It's possible I won't be able to. I'm just not quite sure, so bear with me. But anyway, the next one you see will be a travel day vlog because we're getting the ferry tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe down below to watch more videos from me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. So what I have found, <laughs> oh, that didn't quite work, did it? Stop there, right?